Next Wave CNC is focused on continuing to improve the performance and capabilities of our Shark CNCs. Our quality accessories, parts, and innovative tools are all designed to expand creative opportunities while providing maximum performance for our customers who own a Shark. How to unbox and assemble the Shark RS 1000 Pro from Next Wave CNC. Before we get started, here are a few components, tools, and suggestions you will need to set up your Shark RS 1000 Pro. You will need a router table, a standard 3.5 inch router, a power drill, a socket wrench, a combination wrench, your measuring tape, 532nd hex drive bit, and a pencil. And for safety and an easier install, we recommend you have someone to assist you. Please place the Shark RS 1000 Pro shipping box onto a sturdy table. Carefully cut the tape along the top and the ends of the box. Next, remove all four boxes from the shipping box and verify all components and parts are included. First, open the box that contains the positioner as shown. Next, open the other three boxes and empty the contents onto the table. Remove the two spacers, the detached phenolic plate, and the lift from the lift box. Note that a temporary plate is attached to the lift for safe shipping. The black phenolic plate is the permanent router plate for your lift. Set the lift so the temporary plate is accessible. Use the 532nd hex drive bit to remove the four bolts that hold the temporary plate in place. Use a hand tool to prevent damage to the bolts. Next, set the phenolic plate so the holes align to the lift's support rods. Insert the four mounting bolts and use the 532nd hex drive bit to securely hand tighten all bolts as shown. To prepare your router table, remove the existing router plate. Add the levelers to your table to give the plate a resting place. Carefully place the lip into the opening on the table. Please be sure that the label on the lift is facing toward the front of the table as shown. Use the plate levers to level the plate with the table and then secure the plate with the four bolts and tighten snugly. Locate the four bolts on the bottom of the positioner as shown here. Slide the positioner onto the back of your router table and use these four bolts as a stopping point. Then use your measuring tape to ensure the positioner is centered on your router table. Then hold the positioner onto the table and use a pencil to draw where the four bolts are to be inserted. Remove the positioner and use a power drill to drill through the table for the four bolt holes. Place the positioner on the table over the four drilled holes, then proceed to tighten the nuts with a socket wrench to secure the positioner in place as shown. Next, remove the fence from the packaging. Place the fence onto the router table and slide the L-shaped bottom part underneath the mounting plate on the front of the positioner. Remove the fence inserts from the packaging and place them onto the router table. Then remove the four clamping knobs from the packaging and place them on the router table. Next, line the holes on the back of the fence inserts to the slots on either side of the fence. Use two clamping knobs per fence insert. Insert two of the clamping knobs into the holes on the back of the fence insert. Turn the clamping knob until tight. Repeat this step with the other fence insert. You will need assistance with this next step as shown. Carefully insert the router into the lift. Tighten the nuts that are already in place on the lift to secure the router. 
Next, remove the ring inserts and the ring insert wrench from the packaging and place them on the router table. Select one of the three ring inserts that came with your plate. Place the ring insert wrench into the holes on the ring insert, turning the ring insert wrench counterclockwise to lock the ring insert into place. Place the ring insert wrench into the ring insert and turn it clockwise to remove or change your ring insert. Now, remove the LCD color touchscreen pendant and LCD color touchscreen pendant cable from the packaging. Insert the pendant cable into the bottom of the pendant and tighten the two screws. Insert the other end of the pendant cable to the bottom of the lift, then tighten those two screws. Next, connect the fence motor cable to the lift and tighten the screws as shown. Remove the touch plate and cables from the packaging. Then, plug the other end of the cable into the side of the pendant, as shown. Next, insert the round plug into the power receptacle on the right side of the lift and the power cord into a trusted power source. Turn the power switch on the positioner from the off position into the on position, and the RS-1000 Pro is ready to route. Should you have any questions or need additional information, please email support at nextwavecnc.com or go to our website at www.nextwavecnc.com.